This is Donna. I'm going to show you how to make a quick button to easily remove your double spaces after your periods. So it's a very hard habit to break if you're hitting period space space like I do. So this is real helpful. I have um, Microsoft Word open. I'm going to go to the View tab. We're going to use the macro group and if it's not there right click right click in a blank area of the ribbon and cl click on customize ribbon from the choose commands field you're going to select main tabs click on view and add it and then make sure macros is listed underneath if it's not you can click on this and add it and then hit OK once it's there. Now I'm going to click on Macro. I'm going to select Record Macro. I'm just going to call it Period. I'm going to assign it a button. You can also assign it a keyboard, but I'm going to do the button. And now this pops up. It allows you to add your new button to your quick access toolbar, which is at the very top left of your screen. This is where we're going to make it available at all times, so you can just click on it and run it. So I'm going to select it. And there's the it appends the name you add to the to the end of it. So there's my word period. Click on add and hit OK. Now it's already recording, so I'm going to create my macro. Go to Home, click on Replace. Okay, I already did this for practice, so we'll, we'll do it like it's like a, like it's fresh. In the Find What field, put period space space. Replace it with just period space, and then click on Replace All. Click on OK and close. Go to View, Macro, Stop. Alright, now if I do a Control Z to put all my spaces back, see my new button? If I click it, it runs it. See, watch that again very carefully. See how there's double spaces? See, one, two, after each period. As soon as I click on my button, there you go. Now since it's on the quick launch, it's retained when you open a new document. Now as soon as I hit my macro button, it takes care of it. I hope that's helpful. That's the best way. I could find to make um, this happen. I couldn't find. I tried to make it one of the autocorrect options, and I've tried at length. It just will not take the double spacing in the variable on one of the things to fix automatically. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching.